A question I get asked a lot about the CWI Part C is which code book should I use to take the Part C and which one is the easiest? A lot of guys say the D1.1 is the easiest, the AWS D1.1, because it has an index. And true enough, it does have an index, but it also covers well over half the book. The book is over 600 pages long. And you don't have a lot of time when you when you have two minutes per when you have two minutes per question, you don't have a lot of time to dig through a lot of material like that. Now, this is not to say that you can't pass using the D1.1. We've got great material, we've got a great course. All I'm saying is it just requires a little more preparation. The API 1104 is only covers about 120 pages out of the book. And the table of contents works real well to locate the area of the book that you need to find when you can identify the keyword and a question for that exam. And if you tab your chapters and you know how to, if you're familiar with the book, you know how to look stuff up, you'll, you'll be fine. And it's a lot, to me, it's a lot easier than the D1.1. Now, this is different if your employer is requiring you to take the D1.1. If that's the case, that's what you need to do. But if you have a choice, I would take the API 1104. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that if they take the exam using the API 1104, they're not qualified as a CWI to work on a project using the AWS D1.1. And nothing could be further from the truth. You're just proving that you can read a code book. But in my opinion, again, the, the API 1104 is about 30% easier and when you're covering as much material as you are in the CWI exam already, I would give myself every benefit I could. Now, this can also be different if you're already familiar with the AWS D1.1. In that case, you're a lot better off using it because it's more difficult, but it just requires a little more preparation is all. And there you have it.